There are certain ways of being that just draw us in as human beings, in part because they're unusual. They're not the natural thing that we see most people doing. And so there's a particular response in life that men just get hypnotized by. In fact, I would argue all of us as human beings, we admire this. We aspire to be like this. We feel an expansion of energy in life when we see somebody acting this way. And that way of being is how we respond to challenges or obstacles or disappointments. When we're facing something that we didn't get really what we wanted, the average response, most people get discouraged, they might get depressed, or they might get angry when something doesn't go their way. They don't get exactly what they want. They don't get the job. They don't get the promotion. They don't get the parking spot. They don't get from small things to big things. How do we respond when life doesn't give us what we want? That move is admirable. We see that move as something special. When someone actually takes something that they didn't want and they turn it into something magnificent, that move is rare. There's this philosophy that says, Obstacles, how are you gonna see obstacles? A big portion of the population sees obstacles as stop signs. Well, this is a sign that's just not gonna work out for me. Well, I've tried and it didn't work out and it failed, so maybe it's not in the cards for me. But highly successful people, highly attractive people, they consider obstacles as qualifiers. In other words, how can I get better in this moment? How can I leverage this experience and turn it into something amazing. And so I'm going to share with you an unusual story about how we can do this in our lives. And it actually comes from my daughter, Isabella, who's in second grade. And she really wanted to be Snow White in the school play. And the school play had everybody from first graders to sixth graders in this school play. And guess what? Everybody wanted to be Snow White. So they're all auditioning for Snow White. My thought is the chances of her getting Snow White as a second grader over the fifth and sixth graders is like slim to none. But she auditioned, she gave it her all, and then the next day she comes running in with her audition form, like they, they selected, everyone got their roles, and she comes running in, and she's like, Dad, Dad, she's holding up, she's all excited, she's like, guess what part I got, guess what part I got? And I'm like shocked going, did you get Snow White? And she goes, no, they made me a skunk. And so she was fooling me, right? She was trying to tease me and I was like, oh, you, you're a skunk. And she was all discouraged, all depressed because not only was she not Snow White, in her mind, she was like the lowest of the forest animals as a skunk. And so the next day we're driving to school and I could just see that she's discouraged. I can see that she's depressed. And I'm like, okay, what can I say in this moment to, to help her? Interestingly enough, I had a very similar experience in my life. So I said, hey, Isabella, can I share with you a moment in my life where it was actually the same thing? And she goes, yeah. When I was in sixth grade, we had an all-school play, and it was a pirate play, and so I auditioned to be the main pirate, like this Captain Hook character. And when I got my role back, I wasn't even close to Captain Hook. I was like this little side pirate that only had a couple of lines in the entire play. And I was feeling discouraged, and then I had the thought that says, you know what, if I've only got a couple lines, then I'm gonna make those the best lines I could ever make them. Like, I'm, whenever I'm on stage, I'm gonna have big energy and I'm gonna make the audience laugh with the way I use my body and I'm gonna turn this, whatever small thing is, I'm gonna make it as big as it can possibly be. So my daughter's listening to this and she's in the back seat and then she says, well, what happened, Dad? And I said, well, so then the night of the show came and when I got on stage, I brought the energy and I spoke my lines and I was funny and I did funny body motions and people laughed. And at the end of the play, the teacher comes to me and I vividly remember this. She comes up to me and she goes, Matt, I don't know how you did it, but tonight you stole the show. As a little pirate, you stole the show, buddy. Good job. She gave me a big high 10. And my daughter gets a little smile on her face. She's like, all right, thanks, dad. And so she goes off to school. She does rehearsals. A few weeks later, we're at the Snow White play. The whole school auditorium in the gymnasium is packed. All the parents are there. Everyone's got their cell phones up, right? And so we're all watching the play. Isabella only has a couple of lines, but she brings it, man. She brings her heart. She says those lines. People laugh. We have a great time. We hug her. We take photos at the end. And then we're driving home. She's in her little skunk outfit, right? Little painted face and skunk costume. And I hear this little voice from the back seat say, hey, dad, 
I'm like, yeah, honey. And she goes, I stole the show tonight. <laughs> I got this big smile on my face and I said, you did, honey. You stole the show tonight. And she goes, did you hear him? She goes, I brought my best to those lines. And she goes, I was being funny and I made people laugh. And I said, how do you feel about your performance? And she goes, I feel really good. That was a classy move. That was an empowered move. I was so inspired. She's eight years old. I was so inspired by her little beingness to choose into, here's a role she didn't want. Some of us get dealt roles we don't want. We have challenges that come our way with work. We have situations in a dating experience that we don't want, we get rejected. When you're with somebody and they take what comes their way, that obstacle, not as a stop sign, but as a qualifier, and they say, how can I make this opportunity and turn it into something great? How can I bring my best? That is magic, that is power, that is attractive. So my question for you is, what are you facing right now that looks like an obstacle or looks like a challenge? And what would it look like to bring your best? What would it look like to convert that challenge into a qualifier and turn that into something amazing? How could you bring your best to that moment so that you ultimately end up at the end of the day saying, you know what, Matt, I stole the show. Post that in the comment section below. I would love to read that and connect deeper with you. I appreciate you. Here's to your amazing love life. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.